hello, ho, 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 and hello. Welcome back, Luma Learn students, to another Christmas devotional. My name is Teacher Chelsea, and I am so excited you guys decided to tune in today for another Christmas devotional. So, today we are talking about one of my favorite ornaments, and I have lots of these guys on my Christmas tree. You can probably guess what it is. He has a white beard, and he has a tummy full of jelly. He has rosy cheeks. Do you know who it is? Yeah, it's Santa Claus. That's right. I have lots of different Santas, and this one is one of my favorites. He's a baseball Santa Claus. My husband is a big Atlanta Braves baseball fan. And so here is our baseball Santa Claus here. And he was given in 2000. Ooh, it's a long time, isn't it? <laughs> and you can see Santa's throwing a baseball here. So I, I love all different types of Santa Clauses. We have kind of a Santa collection going on in my tree. And so Santa, so if you guys know anything about Santa, what does he do all around the world on Christmas Day? So before Christmas, Christmas Eve, you go to bed, and what does Santa do? Yeah, he gives gifts, doesn't he? I love that. He does. He gives gifts. And I love that Santa, if you read all the stories about Santa, he is a cheerful giver. So Santa loves giving gifts, and, and he gives them to children all around the world. And I love that about Santa Claus. And I love reading different stories about Santa Claus and how he just loves to give gifts to boys and girls all around the world, and he loves them all. And there's something very sweet about that. Well, did you know that the Bible encourages us to also give gift to others? It's true. If you open to Hebrews 13, Hebrews 13, verse 16, Hebrews 13, verse 16, it says, don't neglect to do what is good and to share for God is pleased with such sacrifices. And it even says that God is pleased with the cheerful giver as well. So why do you think Giving is so hard for us sometimes. What do you think? Yeah, maybe because we're selfish, right? It's hard to give away things sometimes. But the beauty of it is that we are supposed to give, not only during Christmas time, but give year-round. And as Christians, we have such a beautiful gift. And this gift is called Jesus, the gospel of Jesus. And it's right here the word of God. What a beautiful gift we have. And this gift was given to us by Jesus himself. See, when Jesus died on the cross, he died for our sins and it was such a precious gift, but it's up to you to accept that gift. Just like Santa Claus puts a gift underneath the tree, it's up to us to open it. So Jesus died on the cross and it's up to you to open that gift. Maybe you never accepted the gift of salvation or accept a gift of Jesus in your heart. And if not, I would encourage you to talk to mom and dad about that. And I would love to hear amazing stories about you accepting the gift of Jesus. But the beautiful thing is, is once we open that gift, it's a wonderful gift. It's up to us to continue sharing that gift of Jesus. And, and right here, it says, don't neglect to do what is good and to share for God is pleased with such sacrifices. That means God is pleased with us when we share the gospel. He's pleased with us when we share what we have. Maybe there's someone this holiday season that doesn't have food on their table and it's up to your family to share what you have. Maybe there's someone who there's children that don't have Christmas gifts. My church does Operation Christmas Child where we collect gifts and shoe boxes and we send them all over the world and just for kids to have a Christmas. It's up for us as Christians to share. Yes, to share what we have, but also to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. So this holiday season, I challenge you to go and share the gospel. Maybe share things with people that need help this holiday season. Trust me, it'd be amazing how people react. And you are never too young to share the gospel. 
Well, I hope this encourages you guys today. If you loved our devotional series, we have lots of fun and jolly devotionals here on Live and Learn. Here you can go ahead and check through all the different classes we offer. We offer everything from music classes to mathematics to science to history to storytelling. There's something a little bit out there for everybody. So please check through our classes by amazing godly teachers and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Have a Merry Christmas.